all right the flash is done so let's open up our um, we'll be at USB 1 and our baud rate has been greatly reduced to uh, 9600 because we didn't change it so enter um, password and now we flash uh, or now we start programming the FPGA we'll press the button so that's our or actually let's not do this because I don't have the Ethernet connected yet and I really wanted to have the Ethernet connected so we'll reset it alright now I have Ethernet connected I'll reset that and we'll wait for a few seconds you can see the Ethernet has uh, completed negotiation it has got an IP and uh, now this is just you boot so you can boot through a uh, network and now it will start to boot from the flash and this can take a while uh, because flash usually takes some time to set up so it's just going through the um, uh, just checking all of the data is sane so just uh, verifying integrity I guess and we'll wait for a few seconds for everything to boot up and now we're finally booting Linux um, yeah that's how it looks Alright, so about a few minutes later it's here and you can press enter and you, can, you are at the login. So our project name becomes kind of our system name. So in this case you will see the RT Peta Linux YouTube uh, label throughout. If I enter root, I enter my root account and uh, I hope that was the password. I didn't need to set any password specifically but you see it takes time to log in. Uh, that's how slow it is. It's only running at 83 megahertz. So let's see. Uh, you name A gives us uh, Linux RT Beta Linux YouTube. That's system name at 4.14 kernel. Um, and uh, Microblaze architecture. So we are not running ARM, we're not running anything else. It's Microblaze. That's the soft processor architecture that Xilinx developed. It's only available in Softcore. Uh, if you want to implement it in FPGA, otherwise it's just you don't implement it uh, in actual hardware. So uh, let's see something else. Um, so if you go cat slash proc and CPU info, uh, that gives us a lot of info. So of course uh, it's micro blaze. You can see the FPGA architecture as Atrix 7 um, and little Eden CPU megahertz 83.333 three three something bogo maps around 40.96 which is kind of correct um and there are just other things that are in there uh, so you can add an fpu if you want it just increases your uh, size of the of the project and you can also do stuff so top works and top would uh, consume a lot of cpu resources to be honest 66 percent right here because we are again very small core um, running at uh, 83 megahertz uh, it did gets reduced in a second but main part is running python so oops python and we should be dropped into the python id anytime now there it is and then we can run print hello youtube how are you and uh, that that works so python runs um control d exit uh, this is our basic and then of course the ethernet so i can ping google.com and that works just fine i can download scripts i can download stuff um yeah that that's about it um That's it, that's all there is to it. Uh, so again, a SOC you design on your own that runs Linux using the Microblaze 
architecture of course it's not open source it's not risk 5 it's not anything exciting like that but this is a first step and i think next we should go for risk 5 that runs linux i'm still looking into it uh but we'll see uh, if and when possible i've already done a risk 5 mcu uh, or microcontroller video using the same dev board uh, and uh, just just look forward to a linux one uh, hopefully soon and of course we can power off this i don't think it powers off that well it, it gives odd errors uh, it doesn't reboot that well it powers off fine and takes a wild power off again a very small uh, processor just that just wants to chug through uh, and do its job slowly but it eventually gets there pretty interesting so thank you so much for watching i hope you kind of enjoyed it more or less uh, new experience for me as well and uh, you know subscribe and hit that bell icon and all of that good stuff um, and i will keep creating more content thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one Oops, I disconnected everything. Bye.